Hi Gemini, welcome to this reading. You might find this resonates more if Gemini is your sun or rising sign. So let's have a look and see the messages that Spirit would like would like you to know at this time. Oh, is your person newly single? So they could have left someone, someone could have left them. Um, that won't apply for everybody. I know not everyone's in a third party situation. Um, hold on, let me just get something that fell on the floor. The Ace of... Um, no, I don't think that belongs anywhere. Okay, so for some of you, it could be to do with work. For some of you, your person is stepping out on their own, becoming an entrepreneur, or they're just doing a lot better financially. If someone was draining them of money, they may have cut that uh, connection, cut that person off. Okay, let's see what else is hidden, please. Your person is manifesting you. They see you as being this queen of swords energy, whether you're a woman or a man watching this. Um, so someone who is wise, someone who's learned from the past, learned from your past experiences with them. You might be open to communication, but they know they have to come towards you correctly. You know, honestly, they have to be direct in their speech. You're not going to put up with any nonsense. Um, any, I'm hearing diversion tactics or anything they used to do to get out of your questions or speaking their truth. They, they just know that's not going to work. They're not even going to bother. Some of them might be wondering where your head is at, where your heart is at regarding them right now in this situation. So let's see. The world in the reverse. Interesting. Okay. So for some of you, your person is going on this journey, this inner journey, learning something. Um, if they've been in hermit mode, they're wrapping this up. They're almost there. It's almost like a final test, a final sort of last push. Can they take what they've learned? Can they incorporate this into their life can they show spirit i've learned the lesson um by moving forward in a different way doing things differently using the wisdom they now have so they miss you they feel there's distance now this is whether you put them out in the cold they put you out in the cold they ghosted you they just feel there's a distance between you and um they're actually wanting to walk a new path here with you to get things going to explore this connection if it was kind of like a failed opportunity in the past or a non-starter they're saying let's have another go the knight of cups or the son of cups here lots of daydreaming lots of um heart-centered emotions that they're feeling experiencing right now that they want to bring uh, towards you Okay, so quite a few messages there, and not all of them will apply to everybody, but let's get some more detail here. Okay, so tell us about this Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles situation, please. Wow. Okay, so some of them could be coming forward to tell you something about like an ex, a child, a family situation. It could be their parent. Um, but there's, there is fast movement or passionate movement communication heading in your direction. They're seeing you as somebody well manifested, empowered, passionate, very attractive because of your physical appearance, but also your energy the things they're seeing you do right now. You are somebody they really, really want and they want you now. <laughs> okay. Tell me more about this page, please. Yeah, there's been, I think they've had a fallout with someone. There's been some difficulty. Look, again, we've got this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So, if this is, say, their partner and it's a third party, they may have told this person about you and, and said they're leaving this person to move towards you. If it's if this represents a boss, a parent, any feminine energy or female energy that has an importance in their life, they, they, they've just spoken their truth and it caused an argument, it caused conflict, but they've spoken their truth nonetheless and this is going to help them to move towards you, to move in, in your direction. Okay, let's look at this Mother of Swords, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're not waiting, at least 
that's what you're showing, that's what they believe, whether you are waiting or not. They're seeing that you're moving on because you've given up hope. You don't think this is ever going to manifest. Again, I feel some of you saying, no, I, I have hope. This is how they see you. It doesn't mean it, it's true. For some of you, I know from the comments, some of you are saying, yeah, I, you know, I am focusing on other things. But this, yeah, exactly. See, they feel, they believe that you have freed yourself. You're no longer tied up in this situation. You're focusing on things that you can move forward. And that's making them chase after you, actually, quite quickly. You know, to say... It's not too late, it will work, I'm sorry it took so long. Because the seven of coins in reverse, you're saying I've already invested so much time, energy, effort, emotion into this, but it's not paying off. I'm not gonna stand here forever. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> so some of them might come forward because they are impassioned, they are invigorated, they don't want you to leave. Um, they'll try to move things forward with you, say the right things, do the right things, but this other situation, whatever it is, whoever it is, it's still around, and I, I don't think they're going to lie to you, whatever they're saying is honest, um, but the situation hasn't been wrapped up. So what I mean by that is if there's something legal tied to it, the, the process perhaps has started, but it's ongoing, it's not yet complete. So just know that this slightly problematic energy over here is going to follow them, um, but I don't think it's going to really impact the both of you moving forward. So let's see what this lesson is that they've learned or what they've been doing. Okay, so we've got the Ace of Cups, Temperance, and the Nine of Swords. So they've, there's some sort of something to do with karma here. Them realizing what was being offered to them before, what they've missed out on, the fact that the, the feelings are mutual. If it took them a while to to wake up to realize how they felt about you, they understand now, and they're saying, "My goodness, did I waste this opportunity?" So yeah, this is their time now. Spirit saying, "Okay, now you're fully aware of what's going on. What are you going to do?" Are you going to release the things that aren't serving you? And do you know, I think they already have. They've definitely begun the process here. This Queen of Pentacles, whoever she is, it's an energy of someone in the reverse who's quite selfish, focused on themselves, maybe needy, dependent, financially dependent on your person or um, dependent on them for some practical reason. Maybe, like I said, it's to do with a child. Maybe your person takes care of I don't know, um, I keep wanting to say chores, but chores sounds ridiculous, you know, but maybe your person does stuff for them, physical things that they wouldn't want to do or know how to do themselves, I don't know, I've, there's something this person gets from your person and it's like, either your person does general things, let's say around a home, Or your person has a particular skill that this queen benefits from? I don't know. <laughs> Take that as it resonates, but I feel there's something physical your person does. And it could also be around financial support as well, that this queen has been dependent on. So your person loves you. They're trying to find the strength actually to tell you this. Yeah, definitely manifesting you. I think they want to, um, I heard jump ship. Yeah, I think they want out of this connection, whatever this is, whoever this loyalty is to, to, um, to be in a connection. It's almost like a swap. They, they don't want to be here. They're in a commitment here and they're saying, that's not for me. I don't want that. I want to be in a commitment over here with you. Mm. yeah and it's hidden I mean we are looking at what's hidden so you don't know this that your person is saying everything I have over here the level of commitment the time everything I invest over here I want to bring this over here and have it with you but look at this this is a real wake-up moment um 
oh gosh and then looking back and thinking i haven't really acted the way i wish that i had now i'm seeing things clearly yeah look at this my god what a mess there's so much they haven't told you yet they're feeling like they've um what's that phrase kicking a gift horse in the oh i shouldn't even have started i don't know what i'm saying <laughs> What's the thing about the gift horse? You know, basically, they had what they wanted in front of them and they pushed it away. Um, the nine, the nine of swords, the three of swords, pain, emotional pain, psychological pain. Yeah, for some of them, they just took too bloody long. I mean, they knew all along what this was, for some of you, um, and they took too long. And now they're saying, crap, you're walking away, you're not waiting. For others of them, it took them longer than you to realise that the feelings were mutual, reciprocated here. So I actually would say, now obviously it's a general reading, it's not a personal reading, but for the pre predominant energy here, for most of you is to expect some sort of movement and once this happens it's all gonna happen really quickly so i feel you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting in some cases months years um and then your person's just going to come in and say i've left that situation i want to be in this commitment with you how do you feel what do you want who are you going to choose and it's going to be on you to make a decision here But they're doing lots of manifesting. Let's look into this. I kind of want to know what they're manifesting, if it's conscious, um, how they're manifesting. Okay, let's see. Oh, they are manifesting hardcore a way to save this connection. They do not want you to go because they know if you go this time, you're not ever ever coming back uh, you know at least that's how they feel so they're trying to come up with a way to offer you what they didn't before the cup emotion heart-centered energy their love the king of cups this person loves you they're in love with you but they've never really spoken this or if they have it's they've played it down what else can you tell us about this magician please Spirit saying they finally realise that they are powerful enough and they've taken inspiration from you. So they've been watching you somehow, keeping track of what you've been doing and you've been inspiring them. Yeah, they understand indecision, not speaking their truth has kept things stuck. Okay, so we can see, um, look, we have the Ace of uh, Wands, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. They're working very hard to, to create a new beginning to speak their truth. Okay, good. I like this. Too often we see the Ace of Wands on its own. And that's great, but it can be about sexual energy. It doesn't have to necessarily even be honest. It can be unstable. But with the Ace of Swords, you're going to get some really good, clear, honest, direct communication here. Okay, good. So, um, I want to get a couple of Moonology cards and then we'll have a look at how, um, how they see you, what they think of you at this time. Uh, so let me get my cards. Okay. So, Spirit, can you give us an indication of the energy surrounding this connection, please? At this time, anything that my viewers, my subscribers should know. Okay. Exactly. A new start is coming. And this is a new moon. It's not even talking about this new moon, that new moon. It could be the next new moon coming up, but you know, it's now, it feels like now to me. Your commitment is being tested. So you might have found that this time that you've been going through is quite challenging, but new energy is coming in and it's really worth setting your intentions now, whether it's in a kind of a spiritual sense, whether it's quite literally thinking things through and saying, yeah, this works for me, that doesn't work for me, this is kind of what I'm looking for, these are the things I'd like to talk about, this is how I want to move forward, you know, being quite practical. But yeah, I mean, this is exactly it, a new start is coming. 
Okay, so let's have a look. How does your person actually see you? What do they think about you? So we already know that you have inspired them and this is not a quick thing. They didn't just see you do something and say, oh, that's great, I'll do it too. This is something, it's like you've almost, in a positive way, wormed your way into <laughs> their brains, into their hearts, into their energy. Over time, they've watched you, they've seen the way you've reacted to them, to other people, the way you've grown, the things you've done, and they're just saying, wow. I never really, you know, maybe it sounds dramatic, but I never really thought that life could be that way. Maybe the way you live, the way you do things is different to what they used to or the people around them. Okay, so Spirit, can you show us, so the person that my viewer is here watching this video for, how does this person think of them? What do they think of them? How do they view them? So how does this person view, see my viewer? How does this person see them? What do they think of them? What does this person think of my viewer, please? That's so interesting, the falls on the back parade has started shuffling. So they see you as uh, someone relatively carefree. Now, this isn't to say you haven't been through anything, you've never struggled or anything like that. It's to, it's a compliment to you to say, yeah, they, they know. Whether they literally know or they just get a sense that you have been through a lot, you have had your share of burdens, of challenges, but look how you've risen above. You've not become jaded by these, you've worked through them, you're not carrying them with you. They see you as someone very strong, confident, someone who maybe is kind of adventurous or a risk taker. Even if you don't see yourself this way, there's something about the way you live, the things you do, it seems adventurous to them. So like I said, maybe it's quite different to what they're used to. Um, but yeah, a really, really kind of positive energy here, a, a sense of overcoming. Um, I feel that in some cases they know that you put up a really good front of being carefree. It's like your sort of your game face, even when you're struggling, because we have this nine of swords energy. This is someone who is not doing well. They're not feeling good. So this, even if sometimes you feel this way, this is how you come off to other people. And um, I feel that they admire this about you, but they also feel, I just got a kind of a feeling of sadness. Like A, they wish they could be there for you when you're feeling this way. Um, but B, it, it's almost like they know there's a part of you that's quite fragile maybe. Um, and you're very strong, very independent and So maybe they feel there's some sort of wounding and you don't want anyone to get too close to this part of you that, that feels fragile. Um, not to say that you've got a wall up because they see you as being very open, warm with people, friendly. Oh, okay, it's starting to come through. So they feel there's a part of you that sometimes is sad, let's say. Um, and you don't trust anyone around you or many people around you enough to allow them to bring in comfort, to bring in healing, to support you because you're used to being strong, you're used to doing this yourself. In fact, maybe you're used to being the one who, who does this for others. You provide this comfort for others. And they feel kind of sad that sometimes maybe you might feel sad or alone or like no one's there to take the weight for you, the way you take it for others. Okay. So I think if people have um, betrayed you, let you down in the past, your person's kind of, um, yeah, your person feels quite cross actually about this because they understand that to me, the, the Page of Cups in reverse is, can be a wounded inner child. And especially with this Nine of Swords, they know at some point, in your life, possibly even in childhood, somebody or people who should have been there for you, supported you, protected you, may have let you down, or someone abused your innocence or your trust, your faith. And it's because you don't sit back and wallow. It's because you keep pushing forward that your person feels even more strongly that this was out of order, you know, because you're someone who is trying 
and you're succeeding. Um, how can I explain this? I'm sure you know what I mean, but I feel it hasn't quite come across yet the way I'm picking it up. Okay, so let's say two people have suffered this, let's say two people each have a broken leg. One person, um, you know, they both have their legs in casts, but one person wants to sit down and have everybody wait on them and they're making such a fuss and moaning, moaning, oh, it's so painful, blah, 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 nonstop, all day, every day. The other person takes their pain medication, you know, asks for help when they need it, but does as much as they can by themselves. The person who's moaning and moaning and moaning, people start to get annoyed with that person because they're being dramatic and they're not trying to help themselves. You have tried to help yourselves. Maybe you've never even really asked for help or let anyone help you because of, of what you've been through. And your person is saying, because you are so determined, because you want to succeed, succeed, they're even more annoyed that, that people have held you back or hurt you because you're not self-pitying and so many people are. I don't know, that. take that if it resonates. So yes, they see you as generous, you give a lot of time to other people, they might see that people come to you for things, you know, um, possibly money, but it could be advice, wisdom, comfort. Um, they see you as being very honest, very fair, very balanced with the scales of justice here. So it's like you, you're nurturing and you're giving, but if you, if you think someone's taking advantage, you'll let them know. Um, and if someone comes to you for advice, they should be willing to hear the truth. Because if the advice that will benefit them isn't necessarily what they want to hear, you will still tell them because you're going to, to you know, help them to succeed. You're not going to just molly coddle people. Okay, so they see you as being a little confused about something, or maybe a daydreamer. They, they feel like there might be something in your life that needs to change or end or transform, but you're holding on perhaps because you're confused. So let's see, yeah, something from your past. What is this, please? Okay, so if you are in a relationship, your person thinks that the person you're with is not your equal, that that person is not pulling their weight. You are carrying this person. Whether or not that's true, that's what they think. Even if it's not a relationship, they feel that you keep giving too many chances to something or someone and you're giving your all. This other person in this situation is not doing as much, even if it's like a business partnership or something. Yeah, this person is too immature for you. It's not balanced, like I said. The Page of Cups, you're the magician. This other person is a page. It's like they think you're carrying somebody. Yeah. Okay. So whatever this wound is, or whichever way they feel or know that, you're, that, that something has hurt you, it's like it's still lingering. It, it's not, you haven't completely healed from this. Maybe every so often it comes up and you go through a period of feeling quite low. They might also think that because they didn't show you how much they respected you before, um, that wounded you and you've become cold to them. You know, if they gave you a lot of passion, um, but nothing tangible. Or they were sort of in and out of your life. Yeah, see the Hierophant in reverse. So if they made you wait, if they juggled you, um, with you and someone else, you and something else, or put you last, they know that caused you pain and that you're, you might be a little bit cross about it actually. But overall, they see you as being incredibly strong, whatever, obstacles appear you rise above you're very generous with people you're fair honest um i think they i don't know you might be more honest than people they used to to, to be um to be honest with you <laughs> 
but they do feel there's a part of you that that needs some love some attention some care but you keep this hidden because it's like you you don't trust anyone to help heal this part of you and it doesn't mean that you every day consciously meet people people and, and think oh i don't trust you i don't trust you but over the years you've come so accustomed become so accustomed to just managing yourself doing it yourself you don't even think you know to open this part up to anyone or if you do it it's it's like two maybe three people at the most also there's something over here they're seeing that they believe is holding you back um, and it feels like it's another person whether it's a romantic situation work fr you know maybe you've got a friend that they think isn't good for you and this could be true or they could just be sort of a bit jealous you know because they think it should be them by your side instead okay so let's do the one question one card reading if you are leaving us here thank you for watching my readings my personal readings are back open now so um if you want to book with me the link is in the description box below but otherwise um let's move on Alicia, thank you for your question. So, Spirit, can you please give Alicia some advice? So her best action, please, to let her person know that he needs to communicate with her, that he needs to take action, to reach out, to move things forward, to communicate with her. So can we get a card, please? The Queen of Cups, wow, okay. So the Queen of Cups is someone who holds a really loving, nurturing space. Um, she's not necessarily someone who, like you said, it's not on you to push, to instigate, to move this forward. So I think Spirit's saying try to be as compassionate as possible or as compassionate as it's appropriate for you to be at this time. You know, obviously don't sort of be a doormat or, or wait for anyone. I'm not saying you are, but you know, I'm sure you know what the limit is, but as much as you can, it's about, I think, holding space energetically, literally holding um, sort of a warm, compassionate, gentle space so that he can, can come to you. Um, mm. I think there might be an element of patience required. You can see her cup is closed and she's just sort of meditating on this. Maybe meditation could be a thing to do to call him in as well. Um, sending white light, healing light. But I think a soft, gentle approach is going to um, bring you what you're looking for here. What's that um, expression? You catch more bees with honey? Is that it? No, probably not. I'm butchering every single expression today. Something about bees and honey. You know, you get more from being nice than, than, than instead of like cracking the whip or whatever. Anyway, yes, holding space, um, a, a sort of a gentle, um, compassionate energy, I think, is the way forward. And spirits confirming, yes, you don't need to take action. You don't need to instigate or pursue. Okay, so... I'll leave it here. I hope you all have a lovely weekend and um, I'll see you on Monday. So on Monday, we'll we'll do a general check-in into your connection. So anything you need to know, what moves your person's making that week, how they're feeling, anything they want for you to know. Um, so I will see you then.